Hello YouTube fans, this is Last Cigar Clown. Um, I, I am just here. I'm gonna walk this way today. Um, I am just here. I just wanna talk. Another talking video. Um, probably don't know. Um, things, as you know, are changing, right? And it's always good to, you know, remind people and remind others, others, that we're in a time frame now that things are actually, you know, heating up, basically, literally, you know, it is getting hotter, and the frequency of the planet is vibrating higher every day, every minute, every hour, every second. At least, that's what I can feel. When I'm outside, just hearing the birds. You know? Like, I've said this before. Go outside. And all the shit. I remember as a kid, looking at all the bad shit at, in the news. And then when you go outside, you're like... Like, look. I'm not going to say that that shit doesn't affect me or anything like that. I'm not saying that. I'm not. What I'm saying is that when they promote shit... And then you don't see it affecting around you. It's almost like, it's like them saying like there's a, like a quote unquote, like a pandemic. And like, say if there was a pandemic in a certain part of the world, people will start freaking out, thinking that's, you know, they get it's going to spread over here or some shit. And so people start panicking or start doing shit, you know? I have to cross here to do some fucking book here. So, anyways. I mean, they, they're doing construction now, so I'm not gonna walk where construction is at. <laughs> so, anyways. Just remember that this is the time. This is the time where you were meant to be here. You were meant to wake up. If you're watching this video, you know, any, any of my brothers or sisters that are watching, you were meant to wake up and meant to know thyself. And I'm not talking to the trolls. Fuck the trolls. The trolls are going to get what they're going to get by Mother Nature and by other beings. When, when, right? So, there's no if, fans or buts about it. So... The one thing I'm, I'm trying to think of more is that the fact that, you know the stuff that was happening with uh, the shootings, basically? I didn't know none of that shit until people started talking about it more, you know? And then when I went to classes and stuff, they started talking about it. And I was just like, eh. Like, I knew what it was. It was just them making a scene killing all people and it's funny too because I posted something on that same day it's funny I posted something on, on my Instagram on that same day if you've seen the music video of um, the story of OJ by um, Jay-Z there's a part where you see brothers flying to heaven because they got shot I took a screenshot of that and posted it in my Instagram Literally saying that you know, um, our brother, you know, our brothers kill us, um, kill themselves. We kill each other and shit. And then these beings want us to kill each other. And then they, you know, stuff like that. And next thing you know, I'm all hearing about what's happening, and uh, you know, about the shooting and shit. So I don't know, guys. You tell me, man. You tell me because. I know I'm the co-creator of my reality. I know I am. I am. I have been seeing shit that's beyond my fucking life. Like, if I told you some shit, you wouldn't fucking believe it. It would be past your comprehension. Not all of you, but some of y'all. Like, uh, the people that don't know. But the people that do know, you'd probably be amazed at what I told you. Because I've seen shit that I'm like... You know? And it's funny, too, because I've been... I don't know if it's these vivid dreams or just 
flashes of what I'm going to do. Because I've been having these type of things happening to me, and all of a sudden, it just happens, like physically. Like if I had a dream about, for example, if I had a dream of watching Isis Wisdom in Astro Realm, then I'm doing it in the physical realm. And I'm not playing with you. That's what I did. I saw someone's YouTube video in the Astro Realm, and I watched it in the physical. And when I was watching it in the physical, I'm more like, what is this familiar? Motherfuck. You know, like, you know, oh no, I, I hope you guys don't know, no, I don't want you guys to think that I'm hiding my head because of the sun, are you crazy? It's just my hair, I like to have my hair nice and neat, but it's all fucked up sometimes because of the wind, <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's just, that's just me as a, you know, person, you know, or you're trying to be perfect, but, uh, I'm trying to look good, you know, that's really it, so, um, what other things that, what other things that I could talk about, you know, I don't, I don't want to say what other people are saying too, you know, like Raymond H is pointing stuff out and so is, a uh, um, Isis Wisdom and, you know, other YouTubers like them, but what I really can tell you is that Sooner or later, sooner or later, we're going to see the fucking results of what this system has collapsed, okay? The dollar is already gone. They already don't prepare for that. I already know that. And once that goes, that just falls in place with any, everything. Like I said, guys, you're the co-creator of your reality. I have, this is from experience, man, right? And there's some things that I don't talk about to, in YouTube videos because, not because of what, you know, these orcs would do. No, I'm, I don't really don't give a fuck about them, to be quite honest. If they want to try, let them try. I just want you to let you know, if you wicked beings even fucking try once, I literally, you will literally burn, right? You won't even last, and you guys already know that, right? I, I, I'm, I'm meant to do a video about you guys, but at the same time, I should not even do it, you know, because that's more pay attention to you, but at the same time, look, look what I'm doing right now, so, all I know is, you guys will, you, you, you guys will come, you guys will come, so, I think that's really it, the only thing I can't talk the only thing I can think of, actually think of right now, is that life is just great. You know, look at that sun. Look at look, look at brother, brother Ra. Look at brother Ra up there, man. You know, people are fucking calling me and shit. <coughs> but um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Be safe, and nature is always surrounding you. Literally. Every time I'm going to school, classes, and going home, there's always geese. Baby geese, adult geese, geese that just, they're just chilling. You know? That's cute. <laughs> so. All right. So, all right, I think that's it, guys. Um, <laughs> I was going to say something about the geese and stuff, but uh, right there, that right there, man, nature. So you should pay attention. You see how they were all together as a unit, as a family, and then at the same time, when I was walking through there, they were, you know, at least the father was. You see, I've been noticing too with these geese. The male walks before the female. And the female is always in the back, obviously, with the babies, if she has some. Alright? This is for a reason, my people. 
nature is showing you what you as a male f f person should do to protect your women and children okay we have forgotten that brothers all right seriously all you have to do is look at nature man and remember that all you have to do is look at that piece right there. Look at them. You know? Hold on. <laughs> look at them. All together. As a unit. You know? That's what we need to do. You heard? Seriously. The sun always behind me. It feels good out here to be quite honest, guys. It feels really great. You know, it was hot, hot as hell. Um, but it still felt great. I wasn't like, like dying over the heat. I was just um, thirsty. That's really was it, you know? So, and when our body transitions, our body will transition. All right, now, it is the time, remember, people, know thyself, man. Know thyself. Know thyself, take care of yourself, and make sure that you know thyself, right? Because when you know things that other people don't, that's fine, that, 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 that's fine, you know? Don't get mad at them. Just look at that as a view of like, that used to be me. I didn't know. And now I do. I could tell them, but I'm not gonna fall. It's it's almost like telling. It's almost like if you're in tune and spiritual with yourself, and you, and you want to tell people, but you go to your mama that is religious as fuck, and no, just don't, man. Just don't. Now, if you're lucky, like I am, you could share your shit to your family members, and they will embrace it. That's what's happened to me. You know? They're like, oh yeah, he's into that stuff and everything like that. You know? They would just say that, but at least they accept, accept me. You know? So, in turn, I have to accept them. You know? So. And the thing is, too, there's no time for that. I've already said that a long time ago, too, and other Brothers and sisters said the same thing. There's no time for that, actually. There really isn't. It's time to build, <laughs> meditate more, train more, do your Tai Chi and shit. Thank goodness I remind myself, because to be quite honest, I haven't been doing that. So I have been doing the other stuff, but I haven't been doing that more, and I have to. But when I do, oh, things move, people things move I'm dead serious and that's not like a perverted thing I don't want people to think that that I'm dead serious like I can feel the energy closing through me and then when I stomp on the ground and shit I feel like you know, I feel like like the the the, the earth of the ground's moving and everything like that like an avatar and you know Avatar the last airbender and shit like what Toph does and shit like the earth benders and shit you know you see dragons you know this shit's awesome man you gotta think that this, this, you and your nature, baby. <laughs> Seriously, you gotta appreciate what you got, man. You know, there's some people that don't have grandparents anymore. I'm grateful that I have my grandparents still. I'm grateful for that. And I wanna tell you guys something too about my grandparents. A long, long time ago, we took, we were like, this is before I got into and spiritual with myself. I was still on that, you know, that grid basically, if you want to talk about it, with these wicked, with these people, you know, like, like basically I wasn't taking movies and video games. Like, I was looking at them as entertainment back then. But um, back then, I went to my grandparents' house that night, right, and we took pictures because there was like paranormal activity there, right. When we took a picture of 
<laughs> when we took a picture, we had a video camera too, actually. But we took when we took because we took the picture with the video camera. When we took that picture, there was an orb, a big, big orb, where my grandmother was at, right next on top of her, like literally, like right here. And then we told her, all right, to move. So just in case if it was there, basically. She moved, we took the same picture. And we looked at the picture and the orb wasn't there. The orb was connected to her, basically, her guardian angel. We did the same thing to my grandfather, same thing. He had, a, he had an orb on top of him and it was bright, 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 guys. I'm talking about bright as fuck. It was fucking bright, like the sun bright, but it was like clear white, basically. It was beautiful, but you know how that shine is, that almost like blue, but it's kind of like that. It was beautiful, you know, and all you hear is, uh, you know, my grandparents saying who they are, you know, it's their parents. Their parents are their guardian angel, basically. Because when you told, when I told, when I, when we showed them that, you know, they had this feeling that was like, you know, my grandmother was like, it's so mommy, you know, mommy. And then my uh, grandfather said, see, it's so, it's my mind, you know. So, you know, it's a deep connection, people. You know, when I saw that shit, I was like, you know, like, and I still remember it to this day, man. I wish I had the pictures, but those pictures are like 2000 and, ooh. 2006, seven, five. It was years ago, people. Years ago. But holy shit. I remember like it was yesterday. That shit was awesome. It's a, it was amazing. You know? And I knew there was higher aspects of reality. I just didn't know too much of it. I knew the supernatural stuff. But I didn't know some of the stuff that we could do. They always want to put out the feel shit. Because that because they're trying to keep that away from you. I hope you guys know that. Alright. Look at look at um Jason Voorhees. Jason Voorhees is you. Alright. You know, and Freddy Cougar is a representation of these motherfuckers. I hope you guys know that. He really is. You know, and they're all beings like Freddy Krueger. Yes, they are. They are. So I'm actually saying that like it right now, but it's actually true. There are actually people like that, like Freddy Krueger. To be honest, because he's a child killer. That's what we need to pacific pacify. But it's more than that. He's a child fucking rapist and shit. But um, that's the real reality of it. But um, <laughs> you know. And Texas Chainsaw Massacre, to be quite honest, the more you look at it, you could say it's with these, you know, orcs that cannibalize us and shit like that. But I like to think of it as like, wait a minute, people have gone to Leatherface's land, so it's like with us. <laughs> when you think about it, it's just funny to me when you think about it, uh, because when every time, because um. What is it? Every time they want to depict the Albuquerque, you know, they want to be like, oh, they're cannibals. So when you look at Tetris Tetris Massacre, is Leatherface a brother where he's just protecting his land and these Caucasian people are just imagining him trying to cannibalize him? Or they just saying it? The one that survived? At least. You know? So I'll see you guys later. Be safe.